crack the mysteries of the Earth. Discover the energy that drives a planet and builds mountains. Uncover buried treasure and see what makes mountains blow. Find out what shapes the top of the Earth and explore the secret world below with me, Nick, on the rocks. Steamboat Rock in Washington's Grand Coulee. It looms like a battleship above Banks Lake. And before the construction of Grand Coulee Dam in the 1930s, like a steamboat grounded by a departed tide, silent as an old wreck. How did Steamboat Rock form? Like most places in eastern Washington, Steamboat Rock is made of dark-colored, basalt lava rock, giant lavas that flowed 16 million years ago. But perched high on top of Steamboat Rock, there's a granite boulder that has a story to tell. So I got a question for you. How do you think this thing got up here? Water bring it in? A glacier? It's an erratic. In fact, there's hundreds of these light-colored erratics, these boulders, on top of Steamboat Rock, which is 800 feet tall, an island of bedrock in the middle of the Grand Coulee. We need to study these boulders to tell the story of what happened here during the Ice Age. Here in northern Washington, the Columbia River basalt bedrock, usually two miles thick and dominant, is thin because we're at the margin of the Columbia Basin's lava scene. You can actually see the underlying granite bedrock below. Now looking up the guts of the Grand Coulee, it's not the size that tells you something unusual happened here. It's the shape. This is a box-shaped canyon known as a coulee, carved quickly by the Ice Age floods. These rare box-shaped valleys, like the Grand Coulee, have a catastrophic origin. 16,000 years ago, there was a dam here in the Columbia River Valley. Not today's Grand Coulee Dam, but an ice sheet, the Okanagan lobe of the Canadian ice sheet that positioned itself in this valley, stopped the water of the Columbia River, and sent it south. So when a big Ice Age flood came from Missoula, Montana, the water was sent south over land to cut the Grand Coulee quickly. After the destructive, catastrophic Ice Age flood erosion, Steamboat Rock stood 1,200 feet tall. In fact, it was the view from Steamboat Rock that planted the seeds for what became the Columbia Basin Irrigation Project. As early as 1892, local dreamers and schemers began promoting a plan to irrigate the deserts of central Washington with water diverted into the Grand Coulee from behind a dam on the Columbia. Today, Banks Lake is Columbia River water that has been pumped south to sit in the floor of Grand Coulee. So Steamboat Rock was created by the aggressive erosional power of the Ice Age floods along with the rest of the Grand Coulee. But what about our granite boulder on top of Steamboat? The ice sheet itself was right here. The glacier dropped these rocks at this elevation and then the Ice Age floods did their magic. Carving Ice Age landmarks here in northern Washington, the Grand Coulee and Steamboat Rock. 